Zimbabwe's prominent opposition leader, Nelson Chamisa, made a significant decision yesterday after he officially distanced himself from the Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC party. Chamisa, who founded the CCC in 2022 after leaving the Movement for Democratic Change MDC due to internal disputes and court involvement, expressed his concerns that the CCC had been infiltrated by the ruling party. Zanu PF. In a statement released yesterday, Chamisa lamented that the original vision and purpose of the CCC had been compromised and distorted by ZANU PF's exploitation of state institutions. He further claimed that the CCC had essentially become an extension of the ruling party, asserting that it had been criminally handed over to ZANU PF. Chamisa criticized the prevailing political climate in Zimbabwe stating that personal ambition and pursuit of power had tainted the CCC, preventing it from delivering positive change for the country. The fate of the CCC had been uncertain for the past few weeks following the emergence of Senjizo Chibangu, who proclaimed himself as the interim secretary general of the party, causing internal turmoil. Chibangu went on to recall numerous CCC legislators and councillors, leading to by-elections to fill the resulting vacancies. In response to the chaos, Chamisa hinted at the possibility of launching a new political party. Former CCC officials, who spoke to Newsday on condition of anonymity, revealed that discussions had been ongoing for some time about leaving the party due to its perceived toxicity. These officials expressed the belief that starting afresh was necessary, emphasizing the importance of revolutionary leaders being prepared to rebuild from scratch. Chamisa's decision to distance himself from the CCC was also influenced by what he described as shambolic and sham elections held the previous year. He accused President Emerson Umningadwa and ZANU PF of attempting to create a government controlled opposition with weak leadership that compromised democratic principles, accountability, and good governance. Chamisa called for a more inclusive political landscape to address the legitimacy issues and restore majority rule in Zimbabwe. As Chamisa's departure from the CCC marks a significant development in Zimbabwean politics, it remains to be seen how this will impact the opposition landscape and whether he will proceed with the formation of a new party. The country's political dynamics continue to evolve, and the future of the opposition remains uncertain.